What's up homies, it's your boy MSage and you want to know how to install MSage's Flower Pet system and don't worry, I got you. And I'm going to try to record this video in one take and this is like the third time I've tried to record this video so please bear with me. First thing you're going to do is get the Creator Companion from the VRChat website, there will be a link in the description. You're going to want to import your project that has your avatar into this. You should be using this anyway because this is how you get your VRChat SDK. If you're doing it the old way, then cool, you're just making things harder for yourself, but use this. Once you import it, click on Manage Project, and then in here you'll see the Avatars 3.0 Manager. You want to click on the plus to install that into your project. Once you're done with that, you go into your project, your Unity project, and go to where your avatar is, and you're going to want to install the MSH Follower Pet System Unity Package. Here and here, you just click and drag the system first into your project. Hit import. Now that's there. You'll notice we have the MSH Flower Pets uh, 2 folder, just the resources and these items here. Now we need to install our Flower Pet. In order to do that, we're going to install the Terra Gothic Kit and Bella Flower Pet. So by clicking and dragging as well, hit import. Boom. Now a new folder is here, and we have our pet installed, we can go to the prefabs folder, open that up, and just click and drag the follower pet prefab into our hierarchy. The other one is request, and that's just easy, just click and drag, put your avatar, done. Now we want to click and drag the follower pet from our hierarchy to the avatar in the hierarchy, and now it's on. Boom, it's a working pet. This pet will follow you everywhere you go, you don't really need to do anything else unless you want to use the special features that come with each pet. Now, the system works for all of them. Anything you do with this, you won't have to do again if you install a different pet. You just delete this pet and put on another one. But if you want to actually get it installed to your avatar, first thing we're going to do is for this specific pet, we will open up the avatar tracking points, drop down on that. You'll see bone tracker. For this pet, it's recommended that you put the head as the parent. But when you click on this, you'll see parent constraint. You click and drag the head bone to the source there. Now you'll notice this will move to the location of the head bone. Drop down on that arrow, you'll see pet final location. And you want to move that to the top of the head so that the pet will actually sit on the top of the head. Just like that. Easy. Now, we're done with doing anything inside of here unless you want to do further options like changing where the pet will look. Changing the pet scale, click on pet scale and just scale that up or scale that down. Or uh, we can change the idle bounds, but we don't need to change really anything else that's in here. That's all perfectly fine. Now, we want to fuse our FX layers so that everything will actually work with our menu. In order to do so, we want to open up the VR Labs tab and click on Avatars 3.0 Manager. That's after we installed the thing from earlier. And then we Click and drag the avatar from the hierarchy to our uh, three AV3 manager tab. Click on FX for our FX layer. Add armature to merge, or add animator to merge, I'm sorry. We go into the MSages Follower Pets 2 folder and you'll see the pet.fx layer. Click and drag that in. Now you should see all these as blank. You don't want any of these. Uh, to have anything on the side there. If you do see something there, that means you probably have it already installed in your avatar. And then you will need to do this stuff. Then click on Merge on New in case you make any mistakes. And that right there is done. There's nothing else you have to do for that. It's merged. You'll notice that a new folder will be created over in VR Labs, Generated Assets, Animators, boom. This is where our new FX layer is. Everything's here. It's That's done. Now we need to add some parameters. We go to our parameters list and we need to add pet.int just like this and pet.y. Same capitalization, capital P dot capital I and T and pet dot y capital Y. The INT needs to be an int an INT and pet.y needs to be a float just like that. Both of them click synced and both of them are not saved. Just like this. Perfect. Last but not least, now we need to add our pet menu. 
to this avatar. You go to the menu of your avatar, click on add control, name it, do something like pet menu, and then you're going to change the type to sub menu. And what menu are we going to use? We're going to use the one that comes with the package, pet menu. Click and drag that in, boom. And now you're done. You can, this will work in game. The pet will follow you. You'll have all your triggers. When you enter, when somebody touches the pet, it will have its own animation. When it lands on your head, it'll have another animation. It'll stay in place and it can follow other players. That is how you install the system. There's really nothing else to it. If you have any further questions, you're welcome to message me on Discord, or you can join my Discord server by going to msage.co slash Discord, and I will be happy to answer all of your questions. There you go.